This is 7 National News. In our top story this evening, the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, met with the President of South Korea, Lee Myung Bak, in Abu Dhabi on Friday. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Crown Prince, welcomed the Korean President and reiterated the keenness of the UAE to strengthen cooperation and develop joint work between the two countries. His Highness said that the friendly relations between the UAE UAE and South Korea has seen great development thanks to the interest and support of the leaders of both countries. President Lee Myung Bak asked the Crown Prince to convey his greetings to President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan and asserted his country's keenness to strengthen the bonds and friendship and bilateral relations between UAE and the South Korea. A huge 7 out of 10 expats lack knowledge on UAE customs and traditions, according to a recent survey. The findings were conducted by the Ministry of Interior's English monthly, Triple Nine magazine, where 2,000 UAE expats were asked about their cultural awareness. 39% were Westerners, 42% Asian, 15% were Arabs and 4% were African and others. The result, 72% had limited knowledge about UAE customs and traditions. 77% of respondents had lived in the UAE for more than a year. A local paper quoted the magazine's editor-in-chief, Lieutenant Colonel Awad Salah Al-Kindi, as saying that they hope the findings will stimulate people to exert greater efforts in this area. The licensing authority for Jumeirah Lake Towers, the Dubai Multi-Commodity Centre, has announced that the RTA has opened the new Western Parallel Road. The road that runs on the south side of JLT, connecting the community to Al Barsha, Emirates Hills and the Meadows, providing increased access. Guatam Sashital, the COO of DMCC, stated that the new road brings us one step closer to a permanent traffic solution, which will allow members of the JLT community to choose from a variety of access points and minimise traffic flow. Featuring innovative gadgets, luxury cars, bikes and the biggest brands all under one roof, the Big Boys Toys exhibition proved that a dog may no longer be a man's best friend. Now in its third year, under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the BBT opened its doors on Thursday and had on display many grand toys, including the Nissan GTR VVIP, which goes from 0 to 100 kilometres per hour in 3.6 seconds and is exclusive only to the Middle East. Holm's supercar, named after New Zealand's Formula One champion Danny Holm, is valued at 3.67 million dirhams and also attracted a lot of interest. However, there were items that can be bought with your average budget. Exhibitions director Raha Muradi says that emphasis should be on innovation of the products and uniqueness rather than the price tags. The products that we have this year in terms of, you know, customized bikes, customized cars, um, you know, catering to, to guys out there who want individuality and something unique. Um, so this, this is the event for them. We are offering something very exclusive. At the same time, offering the, 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 the brutal performance, the, the high standard of driving uh, of the G Nissan GTR, the regular Nissan GTR, and at the same time, giving it uh, a high exclusivity uh, touch in every single detail, uh, whether from the inside or from the, the outside. The feedback so far has been, uh, has been excellent. Obviously, it's in a fantastic location uh, at the entrance to the show, uh, and it's a stunning-looking car. So as you see people coming through, they kind of stop in their tracks, turn towards the car and say, OK, well, how does it, what's it like? How, how much does it weigh? How much power does it have? And, and sometimes they'll say, and when can I buy one? The Middle East Premier Lifestyle Experience also attracted international participation and proved that it remains the ideal platform for brands and products to gain valuable exposure for consumers within the UAE. Reaching more than 20 million households across the Middle East, WWE, World Wrestling Entertainment, is in the country for the first time. The Raw World Tour, which kicked off on Thursday and brought the current champions, such as CM Punk, John Cena, Kane Dolph Ziggler, The Miz and R-Truth to the Zayed Sports City in the capital. Attracting thousands of wrestling fans of all ages, the support for the sport in the country was second to none as the stadium became packed within minutes. General Manager of ZPC, Patrick Tolti, said that their aim is to treat all of their guests as VIPs and WWE wrestlers are no different. 
WWE is there's no bigger name in family entertainment right now, and the and the brand is huge, and you know they have you know millions of followers on TV every week, and I think by the uh, the crowds you see you know behind me, I think it shows that it is popular. It's a family event. It's very different than other sporting events, but just as popular for those type of people that are interested in this, and and the family entertainment and the brand that they bring um, is exciting, and the fans love it, and I think the show tonight you know people will see that excitement firsthand, and I think they'll they'll go away really happy with what they saw. Christopher Keith Irvin, known professionally as Chris Jericho, arrived in the capital on Thursday morning. He added that the people of Abu Dhabi have been great, from the hotels to the transport and the fans. He concluded by saying, I just want to rock the UAE. Although Jericho didn't participate, he did make a few special appearances in the ring. Yeah, it's nice to know that people enjoy it. Either way, I, I like to uh, just do uh, the most that I can to create the most buzz during the show and make sure that people have something to talk about, make sure people enjoy uh, the show that they're seeing, whether I'm the, the baddest of the bad or the good guy. Uh, as long as people are making noise and having fun, that's all that matters. Uh, winning the world title from The Undertaker in the Elimination Chamber, beating Shawn Michaels for the world title in a ladder match that we had a couple years ago, uh, WrestleMania 19 against Shawn Michaels. There's been quite a few. There's been quite a few. I have a pretty pretty good body of work when you look at it. They made a DVD of me, of my career a few years ago, and I was like, wow, I forgot all those cool things that happened. So it's been good. And that is your sport. Finally this evening, Dubai Outlet Mall's second edition of the Star Hunt Grand Finale Fashion Show introduced new talented models to the fashion and entertainment industry. In a dazzling fashion show at Dubai Outlet Mall, 21 boys and girls from different walks of life walked down the ramp with the hopes of entering the fashion or entertainment industry. The finalists had been shortlisted from thousands of applicants through an auditioning process and the shortlisted contestants had spent the last two months going through training courses and workshops in preparation. The rising stars were competing in three categories, Mr and Ms Photogenic, Mr and Ms Popularity, who were chosen by the public, and the coveted Star Hunt Female and Star Hunt Male. It's an amazing experience because I, I didn't think I was going to win and it was such a surprise. And the judges were incredible. And the, our teachers who were keeping us and helping us through every step. I mean, I have so much to thank them. Uh, I was Kim, just normal, and teacher make me the very good model. And uh, all the W2, the teachers are really great. They're give, uh, teaching us like friends. We learn a lot of things from them. Up next, we have the day's business news for you, so stay with us.